call hello you yahweh by hashem yahweh shah by hashem have a kodash double honor city apostles elders bishops and great millstone who well over the flock of israel shalom and salutation i can push the words of truth and sincerity shalom i'm totally lord's elect i can walk off scattered israelites and life forms i brought this out this videos that are fine just going right into it it's dealing with the, we are at the end and you got to consider uh, all the hell you're going to catch and the tribulation you're going to face and enter into the kingdom. You know that the scripture is going, it tells you, it briefs you on uh, the report and the uh, plans of the Heavenly Father, right? Um, the Lord said, you know, I show up my statues under Jacob. Um, Jacob and Israel are the people who the Lord chose to deal with. Uh, Amos, the third chapter. And he also gave us his... Uh, Understanding in his mind, the mind toward him, uh, and that's the advantage that Israel has over the nations. And so, the scriptures tell you how the prudent man perceived the evil and hid it himself. And uh, in vain is a uh, net uh, spread out in front of the bird, in front of the uh, uh, a bird. And so, in seeing um, what Esau has down the pike, you can kind of brace yourself for it. Right, but it's really the Heavenly Father is going to carry you through. Why? The man's going to the Lord. Uh, when he lay upon his bed, he plant right. He put it, it in your mind to do what you're going to do that day. Um, but we also read that um, there's nothing greater. Uh, no, you know, the Lord isn't going to give you anything greater than you can't handle. And so the, the constant endurance. Is what's needed constant patience faith and endurance um that would be the uh formula you know for making it through because you know ultimately the love and the the uh peace and the joy that you are uh, set out to receive <coughs> but that's all going to be uh when if you endure into the end you got to be a part of your life he that endure then into the end shall be saved so that's salvation remember we we, we fight for salvation you know, we know how bad and tragic it's going to get out here. You know, that the Lord is going to increase the fire. I come not to send peace, but I come to send a sword. Or well, uh, if a fire has already been kindled, I come to send fire. And so it's already going to be rageful and, um, uh, uh, um, you know, there's going to be insurrections on the people that fear the most high. Right. That's that's all the all the brothers and sisters. I came out here. That's. Paying attention, being diligent, serving the Lord with vigorously, um, with uh, fervor, and so there's going to be a, a, a set judgment upon um, the house. You know, scriptures tell you the judgment shall uh, come upon the house of Israel first. Now we know the two thirds is separate; they're part of Israel, but they separated um, from the rest of the elect one third. The elect are the chosen amongst Israel. And so the elect is going to have received that salvation. We're going to be the ones our brothers are holding steadfast until the end so that the Lord can deliver us when he sends his son the second time. Now, in all of this calamities, we got to face tribulation. We got to be steadfast. We got to march on. You know, and it comes in forms and fashions. It comes in waves, all right? Tides and ebbs and flows like the tide uh, when you go out to the sea and you see it sometimes during the day or during the moon. That 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 uh, tide is way up, you know. The water level's higher, and then later later on it's lower. So that's how Satan gonna come in and out. And um, but judging the times, scriptures say redeeming the times because you know they are short, right? Um, perilous times shall come in these last days, and perilous de dealing with situations of danger. All right, you're gonna be in danger and trouble and. And, you know, we, we just pray that the Heavenly Father can basically guide us and continue to watch over us and our families that we, you know, go through this endeavor. He set this out before us as um, a way in which to uh, come back to him and return back to him through his son. <clears throat> and we all know his son was chastised. chastised so, um, and he borne our, our griefs and all our sins upon him. So that was a heavy burden that the Yahweh Shah was faced with. Died, you know, um, son of man having to go up on that cross. And even before that cross, in six hours of endu uh, enduring that cross and the pain, um, he, had to be, he had to suffer trials and tribulations before that. 
um, even knowing that he's going to be persecuted and his life is going to um, uh, come uh, end because of uh, you know the sins of the uh, uh, of the of Israel. So you know, without getting too deep, you know, I just kind of grabbed uh, Micah two and two and ten, um, just uh, brief on how you know what the spirit is kind of pulling me towards speaking about. It says, "Arise ye and depart, not it's like arise ye and depart, uh, for this is not your rest." And you're gonna get that feeling constantly if you're aware. If the most eyes pull back the veil over your eyes so that you can see. You're walking in the, this wisdom and this light and these end times. If you're enduring through these tribulations, um, being vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, if you're going through uh, your 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 per, you know your hell um, and your trials, and you're doing it um, as a just person, uh, righteous in the eyes of the Lord, um, you're going to find you, that arise departing out of this place, Babylon. Is um, essentially the best is the ideal situation you could possibly be in, getting out of uh, Babylon, America. And the Apostle Gabar mentioned that brother should be in this time sending up heavy uh, curses upon Babylon to, to so that the Lord removes this stain um, from this from this uh, globe, man. You know, uh, essentially Esau got to be eradicated and put down. And the kingdom of heaven got to rise up and uh, the elect come into power with the house shy. Why? Because uh, um, righteousness needs to be uh, reaped on the earth, man. You know, once again, you know, we've been living in this wicked kingdom society for so long. They got Stockholm syndrome. They love it. They try to uh, turn, always trying to turn uh, lemons into lemonade. It's all the idea of what your life and your existence has been actually a hell. For those who who the Most High has enlightened um, to His plan, His plan is to destroy this place and wipe it out through World War Three and thermonuclear war. And so, the salvation of His of His children is on the front table, is on the front lines. You know, is um is is um, eminent. Is going to happen. It needs to happen. Otherwise, no flesh shall be saved. The Scripture says it says because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with the sword of destruction. So we're looking forward to that um, destruction of Babylon, not the sword of destruction that we've been uh, um, having to deal with in this kingdom, in this in this last empire before the kingdom of heaven comes. So it's a sword of destruction. Look at Jake, man. Jake is gone. Uh, Jake's self, self, into their self, um, self-grandizing, you know, you know, you got to constantly be in the situation medicated just to get through the day and um you know it's severe severely traumatizing to you know to see that you know even the next generation is gone you know look at them man look at the next generation man they out of here you know so you know the spirit of evil is out here witchcraft is out here uh vexation you know uh everything leading up to the uh MOTB um, and the sea hip going into your right hand, man. They got the people where they want them. They're sheeple. Um, but you have to have that endurance. We understand that this place is is evil. It's polluted, and you your family members is polluted. Yo, the family tree is polluted. It's the mentality. It's the mind frame of our people here in Babylon. But the Lord said we're gonna persevere, and the way we're gonna persevere is through this word, through continuing to engage. You know. Engage in this truth the same way we know how, man. You know, um, adhere to the prophecies, you know, remain faithful um, on your mission. This is a calling, you know, and many are called, few are chosen. So it all has to do with election, you know, but the elect is going to endure. The elect, no matter what way or how, through the, we, we know how, it's through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemiel Shah, right? The scripture tell you, um, um, with me, with Most High, nothing is impossible. And um, Yahweh Shah, strength, it was that um, all things do work together for the good of them that love the Most High. And also, um, you know, is Yahweh Shah who strengthens, strengthens me. 
Um, so we have a strength in a higher power, man. We going straight to the source for our strength. So continue to stay prayed up and, um, um, you know, endure, Akim, endure, endure this fight, man. I'll be this out of this video. Is that a fine? Till next time, Shalom.